Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's almost Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. Hearts are everywhere. Andrea's got one. Emma's got one. When they clink them together, oh, missed. Oh, <laughs> when they clink them together, they make more love hearts. There are heart shaped Lego friends boxes. Hearts everywhere. Oh, we're going to make our own heart today. We're going to make a stained glass heart. So, what do we need? Let's see. Well, first up, we need some pieces to make the frame around the stained glass and I've decided to use white because I have the most of these in white and we need these ones that will connect upwards, if that makes any sense, kind of doesn't. So not this one, which is angled downwards, but these ones which are angled upwards and have, yeah, not like that, see? So, and have got the connector studs on the top. I wonder if that makes any sense. It'll make sense as you see it. So we're going to be making our beautiful frame for the beautiful stained glass out of white and we're going to see whether we can make a heart shape with these angled pieces and we're going to make it pretty symmetrical well the heart itself is obviously going to be symmetrical and it's currently got a flat base because I couldn't find anything else to connect to the bottom and because well with a flat base it means it's not going to fall over so that's good we can use it for a display piece then now I think this is probably a good size so now let's take it up nice and straight so we'll make some straight bits up here so I'm going to need two of these and two of the little flat ones as well and then an angled piece so that we can tie it into the loopy bit or the curved part of the actual heart bit on the top and it oh, <laughs> tips over because we've only done one side so let's make the symmetrical part on the other side exactly the same two of them two of these and a little angled bit for the top. Perfect, we'll put that on the other side and then, then it will be balanced and it'll stay up very nicely. Good, okay, let's stick with this for now. It's looking good. We've got some more pieces here to make our little top part, but before we do that, we wanna start working on the stained glass. Let me get all of my beautiful stained glass pieces. Look at them, all these gorgeous translucent pieces. They're like gems, so shiny and colorful, and the light's going to just shine through them. Aren't they pretty? I have not many of these. These are kind of, well, they're not rare, but they're, they're not very common so I don't have many of these at all so hopefully I've got enough to do everything I want to do actually I've got more pink of these than any other color and I don't want the whole thing to be pink I want a bit of a bit of a combination of colors it's pretty so pretty oh, I love how the lights coming through it just makes it so joyous and I've got almost no purple ones purple ones exist look Look, you can see them, but that's it. That is the sum total of my purple translucent pieces. So sad. I like these little red ones. I can put them over here on the sides to even things up. And they look so pretty there. Now, what next? We'll do a layer of, well, not a full layer of blue. We'll put some orange in here. Because I just like having all these colors like a, like a real stained glass window. And small pink on the side. Because we've got a lot of, ah, oh, I've broken it. We've got a lot of pink. Nice. Okay, I'm going to start, we'll put the yellow one here, but we're going to start filling out some of these spaces with some completely clear pieces because we've also got the back to do and I don't really want to mix these colors. So we're going to use some more translucent pieces, but not those ones yet. Hold on, let's take them off and let's put uh, pink ones down here that would be cool because when the purple and the pink when the light shines through it just gonna make no hold on I'm just gonna make them all purpley pink that's just gonna look weird and that'll waste the only purple pieces I have so we'll just put some translucent pieces sorry some clear pieces behind that we'll put some more clear big ones up here and then in the middle let's put another clear one and then something a pink one behind the yellow one that's gonna look cool. That's a nice color mixing going on there. Some bright green ones on the top. We're going to put pink behind them and it's going to make some sort of a weird looking color, hopefully not brown. And we're gonna use these orange angled pieces to make that little pointy in bit on the heart. So we're only gonna do that on one side because I actually only had enough to do them on one side. <laughs> so I'm gonna use white on the other side. So one side will have a complete frame around of white and on the other side, it will have some translucent pieces, which will be pretty. I'll turn these around because they were wrong there. And look at that. 
We've got our heart frame with white all the way around on this side, and this side's got a special feature with the orange down in the middle. A bit artistic. That's so pretty. And that's slightly grubby, but now it's clean. And I would like to put some wings on this heart so it can fly away. Our heart can be free. Just <laughs> we can you can decide whether you want to add these or not, but I just thought they were so sweet. You can put some little wings on the heart. And then our stained glass Lego heart is completely built and it's flying away. Let's have a look at it up with the light shining right through it. Isn't that gorgeous? I just like the fact that I've made it double sided now. It's different on each side. This side has the frame, the complete white frame, and the other side is just that little bit different and we got a different color combination. So what do you think? Are you going to have a go at making your own Lego stained glass heart for Valentine's Day? If you do, I would love to see it. So make sure you post a picture on my Facebook page and we've reached the end of the video. So make sure you subscribe and like before you go and I'm going to see you with a new video very soon. Bye!